Welcome, my young Padawans, to the top 10 plot holes in Star Wars Rise of the Sky. I mean top 20 plot holes. I mean top 30 plot holes. I mean top 40 plot holes. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> in Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker. Yes, it is a lot, which is why we don't have time to screw around here. So I'm going to take 10. You're going to take 10. You're going to take 10. And I'm going to take 10 more. <laughs> Got it. And we're going to just point. fly through these because our two hour and 30 minute video does a scene by scene breakdown where we talk about plot Good holes job. and Good stupid job, things. Alex. But I wanted to make a shorter video if this can even be a shorter video with, with how many 40? plot holes there are uh, with 40, 40 minutes long. So we let's let's just jump right in. OK, so what are the plot holes? I'm going to take one through ten. Number one, how did Palpatine survive his death? Now, there is a Twitter post uh, from uh, Chris Terrio, who is the writer in, in conjunction with J.J. Abrams, who, by the way, is a writer for Batman v Superman. Just wonderful uh, pedigree Ooh. there. And where he basically explains it with the one line from uh, Re uh, Revenge of the Sith, where he's like, there are abilities that are considered unnatural. The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities, some considered to be unnatural. And it was hanging there as this this tease of, of, of non-natural abilities the Sith had to prolong life even after death. And so JJ and all the, I thought we'd be crazy not to pick up that that thread and tie all the trilogies together. Basically, I think they imply that Ouija board. dark science and the, cloning. The dark science kept them alive, or he kept his body alive. He cheated death. But it's he never beat death at Twister, and he gets a, to come back. It's a plot hole. Have you seen the explosion of the fucking Death Star? Nothing survives. Nothing survives. And if you're not satisfied, and you're satisfied with Chris Terrio's answer on how Palpatine survived his death, you can change this one into how did fucking huge pieces of the wreckage of the Death Star survive and land on that moon planet when we saw uh, utter obliteration? Number two, why did Luke? who was hesitant to train anyone with potential dark side tendencies, train Rey, hence Kylo Ren, uh, Ben Solo, he literally tries to murder him because he's got dark side tendencies, if he already knew that Ray was a Palpatine, literally the darkest of darkest in the universe. And Leia, for that matter, and she trained her, too, even knowing that Rey has anger issues. You, her anger issues never came up in training. How does Leia know that she's a Palpatine? You can just sm smell the Palpatine. She's like, both Luke yeah. and Leia know that she was a Palpatine. It is revealed, which creates a plot hole. And knowing what happened to Kylo Ren, which, by the way, leads to not only the death of Han, but leads to her own death, the death of Leia, which leads to the death. Of, and then Luke was led to the Kylo Ren killed everybody because of their decision to train him. And they train Rey. Okay, fine. Sure. Well, uh, <laughs> number three, why wasn't the emperor's son force sensitive? Okay. Uh, you know, it just skips a generation magically. Stupid Jerry Palpatine without his force powers. He just doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> uh, number four, hyperspace skipping. No. How the fuck does this work? I saw so many Star Wars fans. This hyperspace skipping was cool. Yeah. That's the problem with this movie, is there's so many moments where they just said, fuck it, let's do it because it's cool. But original yeah, Star Wars, the original trilogy took itself seriously, and they did cool stuff without breaking the lore, without breaking the established canon, and it having make sense. So hyperspace skipping, how does it work? We've been told already many times that that is not how it works, okay? It contradicts all established canon. If they're too close to a gravity well, they shouldn't be able to hyper jump. That's why when they have to flee, and they have to flee into space. This was established in the very movies that you're extending. Do you remember Empire Strikes Back? They show up, Darth Vader's Imperial Star Destroyer, they're attacking Hoth base, and they have to actually get into space, shoot an ion cannon to disable so that the the transports are away. The tra Hooray! Well, if then you could do this, and why don't you just hyperspace skip, skip from within the atmosphere? It breaks the lore. Hello! Hello! This was in the previous movies. Did anybody bother to watch the previous films mm -hmm, while long. writing this stuff? Number five, how do the TIE fighters do it too? The TIE Fighters are hyperspace skipping as well. This contradicts that ships in the very last film, the last 
Last Jedi. Ships are not able to track through hyperspace before that film. That film makes a big deal. This is the first time you can do, you know, the whole MacGuffin device in the last film. Literally one film ago. Hello. Hello. (laughs) Number six, the Sith Eternal. That's a plot hole. They come out of fucking nowhere. There are thousands and thousands of Sith Eternals. What about the balance? What about the balance of the force? Which leads into number seven. What's going on with the distribution of the force? How can there be balance? Just number six is the Sith Eternal. Just fuck, fuck that faction. Number seven is the balance. So if the prophecy was the destruction of the Sith only... That's bullshit. There are thousands and thousands of fucking Sith. And the Sith weren't even destroyed. Palpatine wasn't destroyed. All these Sith loyalists weren't destroyed. And and then even if you're thinking, okay, well, uh, the, let's say the Sith were destroyed for a moment. My problem is that it is, doesn't that make the thousand-year-old prophecy pointless? Because it's only talking about 30 years of balance. Remember, you will the, have peace for seven days. <laughs> for seven, remember, the Republican Jedi lived in peace for thousands of years, for a thousand years, and yet the result of that chosen one prophecy is only 30 years mm-hmm. of peace. That's what it was really talking about. What a pointless fucking prophecy. They destroyed their prophecy in this film. That's, that's the explanation. Number eight, where did the boundless resources for the Emperor's new fleet come from? He quietly regroups millions of supporters from without a peep from anyone. Nobody says anything. Hey, did you hear? Uh, Palpatine's back, and uh, we're all gathering over here in the Exegol. Don't tell nobody. You're telling me not a single person. And not even uh, traitors or smugglers or anybody notice. They make a big deal of the fact that there are only two wayfinders. To guide them to this Exegol. Well, maybe a job is because it's Exegol is so isolated, right? How did they construct the largest fleet the galaxy has ever known? From the resources from Exegol alone? Bullshit. There's no fucking shipyards anywhere. There's no way. And each one of those ships contain so many crew. It, it's just bullshit. Uh, it seems like, so, you know, that these were b- unlikely to have built <clears throat> elsewhere. Think of them. They were built elsewhere. They were flown to Exegol. They were building all over the place and flown to Exegol. No, there's only two wayfinders to guide people to Exegol. <laughs> Number nine, how did they miniaturize Death Star tech? And how did they get the kyber crystals to pa- power those planet killers? Because it's revealed kyber crystals Sith power magic. the planet killers, but there's no kyber crystals in that amount left, right? So in the, in the canon novel, James Luceno's novel catalyst kyber is said to be phenomenally unstable when subject to miniaturization processes which accounts for the size massive size of the death star reactors that you see two death stars were created and they consumed most of the kyber in the galaxy with star killer base literally a planet of kyber crystals using the rest guess what happened to that it exploded so you're telling me (laughs) That they created 10,000 Star Destroyers with the remaining fucking kyber crystals in the galaxy? Bullshit. Number 10. Why does a knife with directions to a wayfinder (laughs) that then leads the knife? It has directions to a wayfinder. And the wayfinder leads to Exegol. Not the knife leads to Exegol. The wayfinder leads to Exegol. Even exist. Because the Goonies was cool. Exist? The Goonies were cool, it Joe. It makes no fucking sense. Ray senses that it has a long history. But it can't. It has to be recently built. And it only works if you stand in a very specific part of one very specific planet in one very specific area. <laughs> and you got to hope that the tide is right. And it assumes that the waves of this ocean planet, Kef Bif, Beer... Biff are unable to erode the metal over time yeah. <laughs> to make that shape. It's been a long ass time. It's fucking stupid. And my voice is going out and I'm done. Those are ten. my ten. Next. All right. Let's okay. go into Snoke. So Snoke in uh, the, the Last Jedi said he's not a Sith. And this is absolutely stupid because he's actually been controlled by Palpatine. We saw the pickle jar of like pickled uh, Snokes in, 
yes. in his little his lair, and they they went with clones and like mind control instead of like possession. But they make a huge deal that he's not a Sith in is, all the visual dictionaries. Yeah, Let me so show good. you these <laughs> these visual dictionaries. Go ahead. I like how you have to buy seven books to make these movies make sense. <laughs> these visual dictionaries, which, by the way, look at this shit. It, <laughs> so here's the one from Force Awakens, right? Here's the one from The Last Jedi, right? Same size. Here's the one from Rise of the Skywalker. It doesn't even fit on the fucking shelf. It's a completely different size, and it makes it look like shit. Like they didn't even fucking plan the three fucking visual dictionaries to match up. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Plot right. hole number 11. Yeah, books are bad. All right, so now we get into Poe being revealed as like some scoundrel spice runner because they want him to be Han Solo. But that's not his backstory at all, right? Poe po had two parents that were resistance fighters. He became a pilot at a young age. He's supposed to be like this flying ace, and it doesn't make any sense at all that they're like, oh, he's a scoundrel now. You're, not, you're like, he's supposed to be dodgy. He can hotwire a car. There was never any moment in his story, in his backstory, that we've seen that he's a scoundrel. He doesn't have time to be a scoundrel. No, he's been a resistance guy the exactly. entire time, his entire life. Not only resistance, but a new republic. Yeah. Uh, then we get into how does Kylo Ren get off Kef Beer? He was a, like his his Tie Fighter is taken. There's no way to get off because they the, the, <laughs> they escaped on the Millennium Falcon. Mm -hmm. Does he just have like a one of those like a beeper or something? He's like, hey mom, I need you to come pick me up. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I guess they assumed that it, it was the dis the, life the Death Star's wreckage. Was. Also had a fully intact fucking TIE fighter. Does he have a Goonies knife to get him to that TIE fighter? He has to, to like get hold <laughs> it up and he has to do and that. And then he just so happened to have uh. tools in his belt to repair that TIE fighter. And he has the knowledge Everything to works. repair an old TIE fighter. And then even if, even if you say yes, he got a TIE fighter from the Death Star destruction. Those TIE fighters do not have fucking hyperdrives. Hello? They do, Hello? They do now. All right. How is Luke's X-wing still working? So we see it. We see it buried. We've seen his door ripped off to, to make his door for his little hut on yeah. the island. And then he pulls it out, and it's in perfect condition. There's a little. There's a little seaweed on it, mm -hmm. but it's like perfect. And it's like, nope. <laughs> it's missing a wing. Yeah. It's broken all over the place. They did that for dramatic effect because he JJ must have saw that fan theory that hey, we all wanted him to show up on that X-wing, and he's like, all right, I'm gonna give it to him. I even found in the part where it says the Star Destroyers crew 29,585. Crew. That's Sith Eternal. They come out of nowhere. 29,000 per Star Destroyer. There's like 10,000 Star Destroyers. In one shot alone, there's 100. There's 100, but there's way more than that. So you're looking at 1 million. For, fuck it. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Then we get Palpatine, who decides to bury his fleet under the planet and strand and build them on a planet where they're essentially stranded. And then he just leaves them there. So he he gives the whole world a message. In 16 hours, I'm going to blow you <laughs> I'm all gonna up. I'm going to come for you. But first, I'm going to leave them under the ice, and I'm not going to put them in orbit now, so you can't stop me. I'm going to leave them on this like easily attackable planet because I've thrown MacGuffins out somewhere, and I made a knife, and it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Which, by the way, that radio message, you can't even hear unless you go play. Fortnite. You played Fortnite, right? No. Oh, okay. Well, no. You watched the video. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Zori Bliss and Babu Freak. Babu Freak, my favorite. Yes. They get off the planet. Thankfully, hey. I was really, I was, yeah, I was really upset when they. I thought that they died, but it, it's, instead they get off the planet somehow. They give up their key. They're like, "This is the only way off the planet." But Makes I'm, no uh, sense. She gives up her only coin to get off the planet. Yeah. And they don't perish, so she got you. off the planet anyway. Yeah, all right. So how does Palpatine know about that? shows up last minute for her Y-Wing to shoot at the Star Destroyer, which, by the way, should have shields up, so all of her shots are doing nothing. Anyway. <laughs> oh, why doesn't Palpatine know about the Force died if he was Snoke, right? He's been the mm -hmm. voice constantly. This he is should, huge. He should know all of this stuff. And then he's like, he sees them two together, and he goes, oh, cool. And then... This Suck. is huge because uh, Snoke is like, it was I that, that binded you together. And yet, Palpatine is surprised when he's like, oh, you are binded together. Oh, cool. Yeah. What? Plot hole. Hello. <laughs> did you not see what? Okay. All right. How did the other Jedi manifest in the Force without training? So there's, this happens a lot, right? We have uh, Mace Windu shows up. We have all of these people, voices in the head, you know, and she's like, be with me, be with me, be with me. How, how the hell do they know how to do all this, right? Mm -hmm. It was a big deal that Qui-Gon figured it out, uh, taught Yoda. Yoda had to go train and figure this stuff out. Obi Wan so was sent somewhere. Qui-Gon actually secretly trained every single Everybody. person, which is impossible. 
They had already died. But it's important for the movie. Okay, But it gotcha. doesn't have to make any sense. Uh, why did Luke's lightsaber call to Rey? So we see this in uh, The Force Awakens, yep. right? So it's like reaches out. Why, why is it calling and to And not, not the Force visions, right? Yes. We've seen Force visions established, not a plot hole because she touches the lightsaber and she sees all this stuff. That was in Fallen Order and in the canon. But the, the lightsaber whispering to her and calling to her. And Maz was like, this lightsaber's called. Yeah, all the way down the hallway, and then it's in a box, and if cool stuff's going to happen. If she was a Skywalker, maybe, mm. but a Palpatine? They wouldn't no. fucking call it a Palpatine. Uh, and then the other thing is, like, for as exposition-filled <laughs> as Maz's character is, where like, she just magically knows and has to tell you where where the hell did the lightsaber come from? She, The one thing she said she was going to tell us, never told Story us. Story for and another then, time. And then every single other thing that she said is like, Leia has to go die now because your, your son is being naughty. <laughs> She's exposition she like, God damn. To be fair, Dude. Alex, that one was explained in a comic book Who in canon. Cares? It was on Cloud City. Some one, of, some of the crew found it. The easiest explanation. Support crew found it, sold it later on to somebody who Maz then came across it, and it was destiny that Maz was supposed to come across the lightsaber. Dumb. She was the owner of the lightsaber for a while. You're up. All right. What number are we at? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. How did Lando get all those ships to join the Resistance? That is huge! The stakes were He's way higher so from the last decade. <laughs> He's so you charming. had to go through all this crazy-ass force <laughs> field. I don't know what the hell they were doing. And there's, they have Death Stars yeah. with planet killers yeah. on yeah. every <laughs> ship. But he's so Let's charming. Let's do it. There's How? A, okay, How? It makes no sense because not only is Lando one person, he would have to go to each and every fucking planet, the Mon Calamaris, the fucking rebels over here, and the rebels that over there. That was a lot. Nobody showed up when they needed fucking help when Luke, yep. when Luke Skywalker was alive. Nobody showed up when Leia was alive. But There's no. no spark to be like, all right, let's do it. They're just like, right. hey, <clears throat> can you come over? I need yeah. your help. Okay. So they, you're telling me they come over when the battle is much difficult, much more difficult, all these things, and you have to navigate through this, which your ships could be completely fucking destroyed yeah. trying to get there. And Lando had time to talk to everybody to get all those ships to come. And they organized at the same time. And they jumped at the same time. In no an hour. Way. In an hour. In less than an hour. <laughs> there you go. That's how it happens. That's fucking bullshit. Explain a major plot me. hole. Explain that to me. This one kind of ties into a one you said earlier. Why didn't the Emperor's son sh show any uh, force power sensitivity? Yep. Why didn't they just use him? Instead of Ray. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's just you d done. You don't have yeah. to call out to Kylo to then go get Ray, for then Ray to show up and then put his it's essence into Ray. Like, uh, Why not put your, your essence son. into hey, your son? On. Yeah. You and me can rule the galaxy together like father as father and son. And son. <laughs> yes. Yes. But I guess his his son was such a fucking disappointment, <laughs> yeah. like in a red letter media again. <laughs> How did Rey go on the skiff? She grew up on a desert planet her entire life. But yet <laughs> she can she's fly the everything. Best, yeah, she's the best sailor we have ever seen. Yeah, she can fly everything. Even experienced sailors would have a fucking hard time with waves of that size. Mm -hmm. But not Rey. But she's, she's OP Rey. at everything, okay. including yeah. navigating yeah. seas mm -hmm. from How? a desert planet. And even Because she's a locals. Palpatine, and in his free time, Palpatine had yachts. Oh, space yacht. Cool. The locals are like, oh, it's too dangerous to go. The yeah. locals, they're like, let's go whenever mm -hmm. it's calm. Mm -hmm. No, nope, not, not Ray. <laughs> not Ray. Mm -hmm. She's going to risk go it now. all. <laughs> She's going to risk it all. She should have flown there. All right. So we have another one. Uh, Ray uses anger, hate, rage, and overly emotional moments the entire time. But she's a Jedi. No, Jedi are not supposed to do that. They mm -hmm. don't. What makes her a Jedi? That ties into the other one. Why train Ray if she's like so angry, impulsive, and using her emotions? That's just, not the ways of the Jedi. I don't get it. I don't get it. Even even Luke's like, oh my God, you went straight to the dark. Yeah. Oh God. How is Rey a Jedi? <laughs> Rey <laughs> is not a Jedi. She said she was. She said she's a Skywalker. She said she's a Jedi. So, so she's she a Jedi. Is. Okay. She said, I am Got the it. Jedi. Well, then I, in that case, I'm a Jedi. Oh, cool. Thank you. Mm, nice. I am also I'm a Jedi. I'm a Skywalker, <laughs> too. Oh, uh, no. The UK Thank announced you. that Jedi knees is no longer a religion. They don't, they're not tax exempt. So oh. Damn it. Well, I don't want to be a Jedi anymore. <laughs> 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 they fly now? Uh, huh? that, that was team? huge. Uh, they fucking fly now. They've been uh, Jetpacks, Troopers since the prequels, <laughs> Old Republic, yeah. Mandalorians. Go. Yeah. Just, so did, this is, proves that Abraham and uh, Abrams, Abrams and... Uh, Kathleen, don't read the lore. No, they or, don't. or have seen the movies. Yeah, no. exactly. <laughs> it's like, hey, they fl they've flown before. Yeah, what do, so what do you mean? They fly now. They fly now. <laughs> Three times. 
Yeah. They, they fly, fly now? They fly, they fly now. They fly, fly now. now. Mm-hmm. Got Great. They fly now. So that that, that right there is 100% proof that they don't have their lore together and they just do whatever looks cool. Oh, it'd be so cool if there was jetpack troopers. Oh, hey, guys, act surprised. It, it's more impact. No, the, the they impact were was pretty cool, though. The impact that was the, the best thing. <laughs> Explosion. I guess you can argue, oh, well, that, they were just talking about those particular guys because they were on uh, treads and they didn't know that they were going to fly now. No, They're don't give me credit. Now. No, nope, don't give st- me credit. All right. Duh. all right, all right. I'll leave that job to y'all in the in the chat. So good luck on well, that job. Well, actually. <laughs> all right. Uh, the Emperor's Ion Lightning only affects the Rebels. And turning back on their ships would have already fallen out of the sky and been taken out by the destroyers or anything. 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 They are locked. Even, even when they you shut like it down, Combat. they have to reset the system. You can't just automatically just turn it back on. The this second is, uh-huh. they, it, the, all the <laughs> fighters, which is primarily the fleet was made up of fighters, uh, at least the important characters were in fighters, the second they got disabled, they were being attacked by Tie Daggers. It says right here, <laughs> Tie so Daggers. Got the I got, the, got book. the book. What you said. They can't even you get what said. you said. <laughs> And so they fire at the tide. The tie daggers would have shot and killed all of their targets. And why does it only affect the fucking, you know, rebel fleet? These tie daggers right here are in the middle of shooting the tie, the, the, the X wings and the Y wings and the A wings. Anyways, plot hole. Yeah, it's another one. Waypoint tower can only be one tower or one but point t- at a time. It takes a while to recharge if you move it. Right. So that is stupid that the whole fucking fleet, to get out this massive fleet, there's only one thing that if you blow up, that's it. You battle over, fuck it, we'll never get out of here. You need an oscillator like they did in uh, Force Awakens, or you need an Even exhaust port, or you need a something that's just Even like- though... The In the visual dictionary, it. <laughs> it said these guys right here, the attendants in purple, dark purple rose, that these guys, Snoke's retinue includes alien navigators who originated in the unknown region. Were it not for an ancient hyperspace trail blazed by these lowering servants, the Imperial survivors who fled into the uncharted realm would certainly have perished. These navigators designed and operated the Oculus viewing scope in Snoke's throne room. These guys could have easily got them in and out of there, but they forgot that those guys exist because they don't read their own fucking lore. But now we're going to get, instead of Rogue One, we'll get Rogue Two explaining that there was a scientist who purposely made a tower to make it weak so that this movie Rogue makes sense. Two. No. Yes. <laughs> they have two. And then the fact that they don't have it across multiple ships. They just transfer it to one yeah. ship and there's a recharge time. There, that doesn't make any sense that there's a recharge time of transferring uh. information. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Back to the towers. Okay. <laughs> you can't attack the towers from the air. They use weapons to destroy it, but it could have been used from airmen. Yeah. It's been established in Disney it? Cannon. You can fly under the shields and do a whole damage immediately if you're close enough to the, sh- the ship. Right. We surface. saw that in The Force Awakens. We saw that in The Last Jedi when he's flying under the shields, when, and then he does it multiple times. So the, the X-Wings could easily fly under the shields and shoot. Even in this film, you have Y-Wings just shooting at, yeah. at ships and doing damage to Star Destroyers. Yeah. Even though their shield should be up, uh, it doesn't make any sense. So, so when he says, we can't do it from the air, it's a throwaway line that is a plot hole trying to cover up a plot hole. No, we saw it. Yeah. We know the plot hole's there. It, you I can do it from it's the air. It's because of lightning. It, it, it was the ion. It's like, oh, no, our yeah. shields are down now. <laughs> That's the only damage we took. No, <laughs> bullshit. No. The shields are no. down with the rebels, too, and their ships would have exploded when they know. took one. And the... No. Okay. And they would have fallen. The time that it took, the, they would have fallen into the fucking thing and slammed. Okay, go ahead. The is thing that, I, it? Is no, that it for no, you? No, I got no. two more. The dumb one. The horses. Okay. Uh, hey, 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 I was like, horse. guys, these guys are horses. Why don't we just do tilt? Let's just Does, tilt. The horses can't grab onto anything. Excuse me, sir. sir um, Did they not see it just there's landing? There's horses like, outside. Hey, yeah. Yeah. We're on the Wait, only ship that can speeders. fly. There we are. It's the only ship. On the entire planet, yeah. by by the final order yeah. that can fly, the yeah. only one, and all it has to do is go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and we've seen these, the we've seen these star destroyers. <laughs> Magnetic. 
Oh, We've so. seen these Star Destroyers before be in different positions yeah. and upside down in the lore, so then we know that they can do it. Well, that's how space <laughs> works. I mean, it's like... It's what? three-dimensional <laughs> space. It's just like, how is upside... I mean, I don't know. This is dumb. They, they just wanted the horses. They could have split them off. <laughs> space horses. You don't need the horses. <laughs> Where, why? No. We t- mag- <laughs> magnetic horseshoes. We did it. We solved it. Wow. Bam. See? There Take you go. It's not a plot hole anymore. Oh. Shut the fuck up, they Alex. They use magnets. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> magnets. How do they work? They w- they Every be rebel able to get soldier came ship. with magnets. Shut the fuck up, Joe. Go. <laughs> My last one. Leave that to the to the mega fans. And the <laughs> last one is forced healing. Uh, Why didn't they get uh, any build up to this moment? She just yeah. uses it on the worm out of nowhere. Right. The, the force healing comes out of nowhere. Big plot hole in order to basically explain away our yeah. ultra powers. Why haven't any of the other Jedi's what it does? Use it? Well, Jedi don't get the power. power. What this does, they never, they never talk about it. It's a big plot hole because of the fact that it completely ruins death. There's no tension anymore. Death is a complete joke in this film. This person dies, comes back. This person dies, comes back. This person dies. So you do not give a they shit when somebody it dies. They force healing. Exactly. Yeah. And not only that, but it completely ruins the, t- the, the series for the future. Like, you've got force ghosts that can do stuff. Grab lightsabers out of the air. You, let's sh- lightning got, strikes. We got everything. And and now you've got force healing, which nobody can fucking die. And I don't want to see episode ten. I don't want to see eleven. I don't want to see twelve because they have to go away. They have to go into the past. Yeah, they really and, do. But I was saying uh, that's what Anakin wanted. That's why he turned into the. Oh drug my drug. god! But Palpatine. The whole story of Anakin was He's that he wanted to yeah. force heal Padme. And then Ray can just do it. Well, because she's a Palpatine. And he, Palpatine, apparently, if it's a Palpatine trait, he, he could have taught Anakin 30, 40 years ago. Okay, so it's built into her genes that she can force heal. Well, I mean, no other Jedi <laughs> can do it, so it's got to be a Palpatine power. He can force suck, and she can <laughs> Shut force... Shut the fuck up, Alex! <laughs> Stop trying to Then this. get in the comments, and you r- respond to each one of our points, point by point. That's the fun of it. You guys can do that oh, if yeah. you want. It's going to be so Go fun, ahead. yeah. And these are turning more into <laughs> stupid moments that's than plot holes, to be perfectly honest, but that's how we get to 40. Okay. Um, and that's all of yours? Okay, yeah. so what is that? We got 30? 31. You're on 31. I'm on 31. I'll give you some more. <laughs> oh, we got we got some more. more. Uh, 31. Stop shooting lightning from your fucking fingertips when it's <laughs> reflected back at you. Ah. But a parent <laughs> splashback. You ever stand too close to like a oddly shaped urinal? And you're like, oh no! This is the third fucking time you're doing this. Have you not <laughs> learned your lesson? Quite clearly, force lightning is like peeing. Oh, you so once you start, stop. I don't make that. Feel. You can't stop. Yes, you've been holding force it in for a while. Like He's been down there forever. He finally got to use force lightning. It's like, oh, finally. You just use force. <laughs> Lightning. He did oh, the biggest was, force lightning that's ever stopped, force lightning. And then Ray stopped when she realizes what she was doing. Plot hole. Palpatine cannot stop his force lightning because he's old, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm starting to do it, it too now. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. Number th- number prostate. 32. <laughs> Ray finds the Ochi dagger when, combi- when the combined smarts and skills of Luke Skywalker and motherfucking Lando could not find it. Yeah. She finds it and they couldn't. What makes it worse is, what are you saying? Luke couldn't get past the sandworm? Luke Skywalker couldn't get past the sandworm. Bullshit. Or Lando and Luke couldn't notice that decrepit ship fully functioning, sitting on the fucking rock. That's another plot hole. The, the ships, we've learned that ships, especially ones that can go in like hyperspace, are incredibly valuable. And there's one sitting in this goddamn desert. Yeah, uh, you could count that as 32B. And then, <laughs> and then, and then 32C is they couldn't notice the black sand Coffee in beans. the middle of the fucking light brown sand around it in the middle of a fucking desert. How does that even work? 32D, how do you fall through? Why didn't all the beads fall through? If you could fall through it, nothing is supporting and holding it up. Whatever. We need an architect for that one. (laughs) (laughs) Moving on to 33, the life force suck. Seriously, why didn't he use this on Luke in Return of the Jedi? Or fuck Mace Windu, for that matter, in Revenge of the Sith. So he learned this, this power in his weakest form on his stupid robot arm. That's when he learned it. Yes. Yeah. When he was the weakest. Yeah. Okay. Number 34. Holdo pulled off a one in a million move. How dare you bring that Really? Up? God. <laughs> That's a huge plot hole. Now they're trying to fix their plot holes from the previous one by just creating new plot holes that Holdo just happened to get it. 
it doesn't work like that, but Holdo did it <laughs> because Holdo is an expert at hyperspace calculations. Little did you know, she's better than a droid. She's better than uh, Ray. She's better than everybody. Holdo. Bring her back to life. Admiral <laughs> Gender <laughs> Studies knew how to fuck. Force heal. And number 35, why did Ray kiss Kylo? That's a, it's a huge plot Back hole because uh, she, she kissed, actually, she kissed Ben. She hated him throughout <laughs> the movies, even Ben. If it was Ben and she had feelings for Ben, she could have just hugged him. The feelings that she had was never shown, really shown to be that type of attraction at that level. She hated him throughout the movies. And if he it redeemed shirt, himself, shirt it'd be off. a good, it was a forced kiss in order to appease the Raylo fans on Tumblr and Instagram. And, a, and it creates a plot hole and everybody hated it. Number 36, be proud of who you are and where you come from is the message <laughs> of the film. Unless you're I a know Palpatine. Where you're going. Yeah. Unless you're like, a Palpatine. I know where you're going with this. She, she says, fuck my name. I'm going to take the Skywalker name. So I'm not proud of who I am. I'm not, and be who I am and take it back. No. In 37, how can Ahsoka use her voice to contact Ray? You remember when everybody's contacting? If how, Number one, how, how does she even know who Ray is? And if she knows who Ray is and she's alive or not alive, then how could she know who Ray is? And if she is alive, then why didn't she help with the New Republic? Why didn't she help with the Resistance? Why didn't she help with the Rebels? Why didn't she fight back against the First Order or the Last Order for that matter? This would likely also mean notice that Ezra was didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. So then does that confirm that Ezra is still alive and his voice wasn't heard? We didn't hear Jar -Jar because he's still alive. Right. Does that also then mean that Ahsoka is dead? Uh, because her voice was there. So Ezra is alive. His voice wasn't there. Ahsoka's life, uh, voice was there. But these are all Jedi. Remember, Jedi. Ahsoka said, I'm not in the Jedi order anymore. I left the Jedi. She's not a Jedi. She's not a Jedi. She shouldn't have been able to learn how to do this unless, did she rejoin the Jedi order before the Sky, Rise well, of Skywalker? That right. had to have been. She had to rejoin <laughs> the Jedi order before Rise of Skywalker. Maybe we'll see that in the Disney Plus series. Anyway, mm. what was Finn going to say to Ray? It, it violates the Chekhov gun principle and it's completely pointless. You don't bring up something in a film if you're not going to fucking resolve it unless you know that Empire Strikes Back Return of the Jedi is coming next. Nothing is coming after this. Nothing is next. You said that this is the resolution. You don't fucking do that. Was he going to say that he was force sensitive? Yes. Or was he going to say that I They're love you? They're hinting at that. Apparently. Well, apparently the writers and, and yeah. Abram said no, that he was going to say he was force sensitive. But Bull fucking shit. We're about to die. Hey, Ray, I'm force sensitive. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. He was going to say that he loved it. Now it's up to fans' interpretation. Don't use that fucking weak excuse. 39, force ghosts. If they can catch lightsabers, if they can call down lightning, why don't they just fucking materialize on Exegol? They can materialize on other planets. They materialize on Tatooine. They materialize on Octu. They could have killed the rest of the Sith or something. Why don't they just materialize oh, on Exegol? Yoda showed up and just started tumbling that through the crowd killing sweet. everybody. <laughs> yeah. And kill Palpatine, right? Yeah. Well, and, and I did my own theory that the Force Ghosts are only powerful on, on Octu because it's the Jedi Temple. So I'm trying to uh, – we'll do that <laughs> later. And then finally, number 40, the TIE Whisperer uh, MacGuffin explodes. So when he tries to run down Rey and his TIE Fighter explodes, his MacGuffin should have exploded as well, but it yeah. didn't. Yeah. Well, and there's a bunch of stuff that we didn't even get to. Why is Lando on Party Planet? Why – and. Like, the movie never oh, explains it. There's, like, leak theories and stuff, but why has he been sitting on Party Planet for yeah. 30 <clears throat> the years? Force, the, here's the Force Ghost. I want to go back to that. The stakes are lessened by Force Ghosts in this universe now, especially if they can interact with the real world this yeah. much. The, it, it, it bre it's like... You can't do more films with force ghosts and force healing because there's just no tension. There's no, I mean, we're, we're at insane power levels now. Um, and I think it's just, you know, all this stuff comes to head because the, you know, Anakin is used as a stepping stone for Rey. Luke is used as a stepping stone for Rey. It, no wonder some people harbor, you know, bad feelings towards Rey. The best characters are just a means to an end for Rey to be the most powerful Jedi in the galaxy without really earning it. And uh, and honestly, guys, I think there might be more plot holes in this, more stupid choices Probably. than even The Last Jedi. Let me say something controversial to end this, end this <gasps> video. Even though The Last Jedi forced this movie to be this way, kind of, it's still a fact. This movie's still a fact. It still did all of these bad choices and all of these plot holes and all of these stupid decisions. 
and wasn't a very good film in the first place with its pacing. So does that make this film worse than The Last Jedi? I'm starting to think so. I'm starting to, to think that at least The Last Jedi actually did something. Yes, it had moments where we were like, fuck that. But it didn't have too many moments that were like, fuck. Well, but they were Canto big Blight, fuck that Canto moments. Canto Blight you're right, sucked. You're right. No, no, no. Last Jedi And, and fucking betraying Luke. Yeah. I, no. But no. I'm just telling you. But consider how many things we just went through that this film might be as bad as or mm -hmm. worse, maybe. And I could totally see somebody saying that. I'm starting to think so. Yeah. This, this film I can see is worse and worse the more I watch it, the more I think about it. And as a, as a conclusion to this series, you butcher and kill all of our legacy characters. All of them. All three of them are butchered and killed by the end That's because funny. of Kylo Ren. Really? I guess that's, you, that, that's the way you wanted to go. You could have gone any number of ways. Mm -hmm. And have them survive. We can do a whole nother video on, on the character <laughs> yeah. arcs. You know, Finn's character arc. <laughs> Don't, you know, I mean, what the hell happened to Finn's character They're arc? Nowhere. And then they give him, uh, first he's Rose. Ray, <laughs> then they give him Rose, then they give him a new girl, Jana. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he wants to be with Ray, and you don't even fucking talk about it. Luke's lightsaber is inexplicably put back together after exploding. It's never explained, never even mentioned, never even talked Flex about. Flex tape, dude. Why? Flex tape. Why is all this stuff this Death way? Flex is everything. That's it, guys. How long was this, Joe? This was only 37 minutes. Okay. Yeah. I tried to make it short for you <laughs> Two guys. Two hours shorter than our last one. We yeah, fucking so rushed through it so that, that you can maybe bite-size consume this video if you don't want to watch a three-hour video. Yeah. Okay. So there's all the plot holes that we can come up with. You're more than welcome. Give us some more if you think. You oh, there's so many. Add yours. Do number 41, 42, 43. Yes. And Let's also, see how far we can get. if you're <laughs> fucking brave, do a counter to every single one of these. But what you'll be doing is you'll be fixing the Disney's lore for them. You'll be doing their job, mm -hmm. right, for them. And, and being able to you'll be doing it outside of the film and what the yeah. film presented to us. Yeah, and explaining things away through other sources Anybody is, not, can do is that. not acceptable either. Because like, right. the, the purpose of a movie is to tell a story from start to finish. And if and I have to read that yeah. or something else to go alongside it, then you did not succeed at telling me a complete story. So like, I don't like having to fill in the blanks with garbage like there, that. There are so many. This <laughs> book absolutely confirms that that Jana is uh, Lando's daughter and that that was removed from the film. They talk about his trauma and him losing his family. They, it's absolutely confirmed to be cut from the film. So we'll probably Would see that known. in the future. This book confirms it, and then they changed it last minute because they were doing all the way up to and the film's release. They were cringy. changing it. So that just means we have to do in a video top ten things that were cut out of The Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> and if you look at these books, and this book in particular, The Art of the Force Awakens, and all the characters and what they were thinking about doing before they arrived to Rey, these characters here... Um, and everything that they were doing and the arcs that they were supposed to do and the, the situations they were supposed to do. There's actually cool little Easter eggs. It's got that sand crawler that Lando's in. in. They managed to reuse. They managed to reuse some stuff of art for The Force Awakens in this film. That's kind of cool. But it shows you how much studio meddling was in mm. the original story. It could have been that J.J. Abrams... Colin Trevorrow had amazing ideas and could have uh, satisfied it, and Disney got scared, and they they meddled and they changed they stuck things. Stuck with the formula, like you said, and the that's <laughs> why this film has so many plot holes. That's why this film is at odds with each other. All right, or, guys, I don't want to turn this into an hour. Go ahead. Or it just turns out that the guy who wrote Batman v Superman was had could his hand in this one. Fucking and so bother to read any lore. What? There was no Jedi named Martha. He wrote this story. Oh, J.J. <laughs> and that guy wrote this story on a napkin when Kathleen Kennedy said, please, J.J., you're my only hope. Uh, but also, I want you to do it this way. Okay, no, I don't like how you did that. Change this. Okay, do this. Okay, release it. We got to go, 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 go. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys.